Hey guys, I hope you all had a really good weekend. What we'd like to do in this video is talk about smartphone recording and talk about whether 4K recording at 60 frames per second is important. Is this something that you should be looking at? Is this a feature that is important to you? Now I'm sure you're aware that most flagship smartphones can record at 4K from the main camera at the back of the phone. Now most of the time, the 4K recording at the back is performed at 30 frames per second, so it's 4K at 30 frames per second. But we have seen a few cameras come out now, a few smartphones, sorry, that have cameras that can do 4K at 60 frames per second. In fact, the iPhone 11 that just came out a few weeks ago, that can do 4K 60 frames per second recording from the back camera and from the selfie camera at the front of the phone. Now the Pixel 4, which came out last week, cannot do that. The Pixel 4 can do 4K at 30 frames per second at the back, but it can do 1080p at 30 frames per second from the front. So a lot of people have queried that. There's been a few people online asking, why can't the Google Pixel record at 4K at 60 frames per second? And yesterday Google came back and they replied to someone about it and they said, hi, Pixel 4 supports 4K video recording on the rear camera at 30 frames per second. We find that the majority of users stick with 1080p. So we focus our energy on improving our quality in this mode versus enabling a 4K 60 frames per second mode that could use up to half a gigabyte of storage every minute. Now, I, I don't agree with that uh, per se. Now, I mean, it's, it's, it's you know their decision to focus on 1080p recording. And of course, there is a very good argument. There's no point getting 4K recording you know, if the, if the footage is bad, there's a very good argument for saying that if the 4K footage isn't that good, focus all your atten attention on 1080p recording and make sure that 1080p recording is good. But saying that the majority of users stick with 1080p, I don't think that's true. Because whenever I'm recording from the, the back camera, the main camera, I normally choose to record at 4K, certainly when you know, there's no sacrifices. If if recording with 4K at the back requires me to like remove HDR or remove video stabilization features like that, then yes, maybe I'll switch to 1080p. But if those features are still there at 4K, then I would record at 4K because, well, the quality is generally better. It gives you a few more options when you scale it down and yeah, it allows you to record at a higher resolution. And I, I don't think that Google are correct in saying that because the Google Pixel 4 is not cheap. Even the Google Pixel 3, which is still on sale, is not cheap. The Google Pixel 4, you're talking 700, 800, 900 pounds in the UK. It's an expensive phone. It's a flagship phone. And yeah, it's not a cheap phone. And I think if you're gonna be paying that kind of money, then yes, of course, you expect 4K recording, but you expect the 4K recording to be good. So I don't agree with that statement saying that the majority of users uh, record at 1080p, that might be true for silly videos and WhatsApp and sending to friends, but I think that if you're going to be spending money on a flagship phone, you're probably going to record at 4K. Of course, I don't have the stats to back this up. I know that everyone uses their phone differently, but I don't agree with that. But maybe what they're saying uh, as far as focusing on 4K at 30 frames per second, if they're saying that we didn't offer 4K at 60 frames per second because the, the, the output would not be good, then... I, I'm fully on board with that. There's no point offering a mode, an additional uh, recording mode, if that recording mode isn't good. I would rather have good 4K 30 frames per second instead of bad 4K 60 frames per second. But on the flip side, well, why don't just let users decide? Why don't even just put like a little Washix? We have optimized this for 30 frames per second, but you can record at 60 frames per second if you wish. And some people will do that because they want a higher frame rate. Some people will do it because they want to half the speed and do, you know, like slow down the footage. I think it would be good though to, to give users the option. Now, there was a tweet. There we go. It's taking so long to, to, to open up there with my face. Uh, there was a tweet from the, the Twitter user Redskill who said, Every day it makes it such a big deal about the Pixel 4 not supporting 4K at 60 frames per second. I bet that most people complaining about it don't have a computer powerful enough to edit 4K at 60 frames per second. He's making a good point about not having a powerful enough computer, but I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that uh, statement. Now, with regards to what he's saying about the computer, 
4K recording is very, very intensive. The other week I actually recorded a clip from this camera, 4K, and I was doing it for the test, the, the review of the Elgato, and my computer was really slowing down. It was really struggling to, to handle it because, you know, despite having a good GPU and a, a half decent CPU, it was really struggling to edit 4K. And you, you do need to spend thousands upon thousands to build a computer powerful enough to record and edit at 4K 60 frames per second. So in that regard, yes. But th there's a few things to note. Firstly being that, well, generally files recorded even at 4K from your smartphone, the file sizes tend to be much smaller. And it's the same with my action camera. You know, my computer can handle editing of, you know, my GoPro at 4K recording, but it can't from my camera. It's, you know, it's all down to the bit rate and the file size. And I suspect that there'll be a lot more compression going on with uh, 4K recording from a smartphone. Now, the other thing to note is, again, it comes down to the fact that everyone uses their phones differently. I use 1080p at the front camera because that's what's there, but if this phone offered 4K at the front, that's what I would use. But the thing is, I don't actually outsource these clips to my computer. Whenever I record from the back camera or the front camera and I upload that video to YouTube, I just upload that file directly and in YouTube, I can create the start point and the end point. I'm not doing any post you know, editing or processing or anything like that. I'm just uploading the file. So. I don't agree with that. I think that if you did have 4K 60 frames per second at the back or 4K 30 at the front, then it really isn't about your computer being able to manage it because most of the the time, 99% of the time that I record 4K from a smartphone, I'm, it's not going to a computer. It's going from the phone to the cloud. It's going to YouTube or it's going to Dropbox or whatever. So whether I have a powerful enough PC or not is, is not really, a, you know, it's not really an issue. The real issue is can the phone actually record at 4K and can it can that allow you to edit it? Generally speaking, I don't edit videos too much on my phone anyway. Apart from basic edits, I, I don't really go near it. But again, the thing is, everyone uses it differently. Everyone uses their phone differently. So uh, as far as Google, you know, and their response there, I think that I can understand their focus on making 4K at 30 frames per second their main focus. And perhaps they messed about with 60 frames per second, perhaps they were not happy with it, and perhaps they didn't want that to reflect badly on them. Okay, but there is a part of me that thinks, well, why don't just give people an option and they can decide what to do? But I think the bigger, the bigger issue here is the price. Well, certainly for me, iPhones, you know, I've always said, you know, I'm not against Apple. I'm not against Apple iPhones, but I do think they're very expensive for their money. But from a video recording point of view, this year, the iPhone 11 really grabbed my attention because it can do 4K at 60 frames per second at the back camera and the front camera. And when you're buying a Google Pixel phone, which is really in the same price range now, you are paying a premium. And there are phones out now, such as the Realme X2 Pro, etc., which are half the cost of the Google Pixel 4, and yet they are using a bigger battery. They've got a more modern processor, the 855 Plus instead of the Snapdragon 855. And they've got all these additional features as well, which the, the Google Pixel 4 does not have. So you are paying a, a hefty premium for the, the Google Pixel 4. There's phones out there less than half the cost, which use a better CPU and they've got a bigger battery. So for me, the question is not, can it do 4K at 60 frames per second? The question is, well, why, what, am, what am I getting for this additional premium? And I do think that if you're going to charge people extra money, if you're going to be charging a premium for your phones, yes, well, you, you kind of need to offer these additional features. You kind of need to offer 4K at 60 frames per second. Personally, I think they should have threw it in. I, I think they should have offered 4K at 60 frames per second. I can see, you know, a few sides to this story. I can see why they didn't, if they weren't happy with it and all that. But again, it comes down to the fact that the Google Pixel 4 is a very expensive phone. There's phones out there with better CPUs, more memory, bigger battery, you know, and other features like that. And I know that doesn't tell you the full story. Sometimes a, a larger battery doesn't mean you get longer battery life. You know, there's optimization going on there with, and the software being bloated. And a camera sensor doesn't tell you the full story either because of post-processing and all these other things. But if you're charging double for a phone and there's other phones out there offering 4K at 60 and you're not, 
I think people have the right to ask why. Let me know what you think about it, guys. What do you think about this whole thing? Do you think the Google Pixel 4 should offer 4K at uh, 60 frames per second? Do you think they should have offered that? Do you think they should have offered 60 frames per second 1080p at the front camera or 4K 30 at the front camera? Or do you think that Google's right? Most people record at 1080p, so why not optimize recording for 1080p? Let me know what you think in the comment area, guys. I think this is an interesting discussion because we're seeing a lot of uh, different approaches to this from different phone companies. So I'd love to hear what you think about this. Please do leave a comment and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.